Hey, you guys, guess what time of day it is. It is not Dollar Tree time. Sorry, guys, I faked you out. I have a little bit of a friend mail and a little bit of Hobby Lobby and, um... scrap a little scrap a little in Delton, Michigan. It's the funniest thing because I think I talked to you guys about this before. Um, Delton, Michigan is kind of like in the middle of I don't know. It's kind of like in the middle of Michigan. Not in the middle of Michigan, but anyways. Um, and it's a small, tiny town. Small, tiny, tiny town. With the best scones, by the way. But anyways, um, and they have this huge, beautiful scrapbook store called scrap a -Loo. And I'm like, oh, we have to go there. So Mike and I went, and first of all, I don't go um, to the uh, tool store with him because I just don't go there. And I don't know how I made such a mess, but I made a mess here. How did I do that? Anyways. Ugh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Sorry. I have a little bit of a coffee mess. I'll fix it later. Um, so he, not that he was bad. He wasn't. I just, he was following around like a lost puppy dog. And I couldn't look at things. And he's like, wow, that stuff's expensive. Blah, 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 blah. So, long story short, really wasn't in there that long because... That wasn't going to happen just because, you know, he didn't ask me to leave or anything like that. It wasn't like that at all. I just, um, I know I really should be looking at you guys. I'm sorry, but this is bugging me. And I don't edit, so just work with me here, okay, guys? Oh, what a mess. Um, so, uh. We went around to the, um, there, and so we were only in there for a little bit, because I wasn't going to stay all the time. You know, that wasn't the point. We were out on a date day, so, you know, um, <clears throat> so, uh, we, it was good. It, we went and visited some friends, and then, uh, we had lunch and all that good stuff, and, um, you know, it was a good day. So, down Delton, Michigan, that's where I went, blah, blah, blah. I didn't get a whole lot there just because obviously I told you Mike was with me. Um, and then we went um, and looked around a couple other places and uh, then we came home. We went to the Dollar Tree in Hastings, which, you know, we like to do every once in a while, but you know what? They moved and it's not that it's a bad store or anything, it's a great store, but um, it's just too far of a drive really to be going down there just for that. So there you go. Um,. Let's chat a minute, shall we? Because I haven't had a chance to do that. About my feelings. My feelers, people. My feelers. And my feelers are my own opinion. You do not have to agree with me, and that's okay, because that's what makes us great. You do have to be nice in your comments, please. Um, just like I would with you. Um, I'm pretty much devastated over this whole... George Floyd, um, riots, um, our policing department, um, I think we, Denzel Washington said it best. And I don't have the quote with me. I wish I did, but I don't. Anyways, long story short, in a nutshell, he said, a man got shot and he X'd out the black. And then it put um, by a cop. And he X'd off the white. And he basically said, you know, in a nutshell, this is a race, a human race problem, in a nutshell. That we're just never going to get over this if we don't stop going back in time to where all this hatred started. And it makes me super sad because do I think our black folks are targeted? I do. I'm going to just say it like it is. But I also think there are white people that are targeted. It just depends. In the situation, what's going on, but it, it, you hear more often than not about the, our, our black community being, 
I hate using all that. You know, I gotta be honest. I don't like this white, black, Hispanic, Asian. I don't like any of that. We're all one race, people. You cut my arm open, cut your arm open, you're gonna bleed the same. Okay? It's just the way it is. I'm glad we have all the races, but... It makes it super confusing when, you know, you think about God. I'm a Christian, and I'm sitting there going, why do we have all these races? What's going on? Why do we? Why is this? Why is that? And it's just, that part, it's just, I don't even know where I was going with this. I was going to make a point, and I just lost it. Anyways, I don't want to offend anybody, because I have friends of all um, nationalities and family. Because you guys remember, I got a United Nations for my grandchildren. So... I don't want to offend anybody, please, 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 if for some reason I do, I can't imagine that I would, but if I do, I'm sorry. You can let me know privately that, hey, I was bummed at you, blah, blah, blah. These are my own opinions. So, let's go back to the riots here in my city. It was pathetic. It was downright pathetic. I can't believe that our city behaved this way. I was just like, are you kidding me? They were torching cop cars they torched the businesses down down in the city um in downtown for what because george floyd he didn't want that he did not that's not from what i understand what that man stood for okay this is getting out of hand folks it's getting out of hand if we don't get a grip on this and i'm not talking about well let's just you know people say the black folks this or the white folks that blah blah no stop just stop. Folks, it's a human race problem. Do I think blacks are tired? Yes. Do I think people, certain groups are tired? Yes, 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 yes. But we need to love each other, okay? Our blood, same blood, okay? We are made by the same creator. Hello. You are no better than I am. I am no better than you are. You all need to start acting like it. We all do, okay? Because if we don't get a grip on this, we're going to have a civil war. What do you think is going to happen if we have a civil war? My theory is it's going to open up for terrorism. Okay? Oh, the United States can't play nice together. They're fighting amongst each other. Let's just slip it in there and let's, you know, do whatever we got to do. Okay? It's going to happen. I truly believe it will be of our own demise. Okay? That's just the way it's going to be. But, people, There are corrupt cops. There are corrupt cops. I agree with that statement. But there are also awesome, great cops out there. We can't target every single one. We can't do That's not our job. That's not right. It is the police department in the individual cities and states to figure out how to train them proper. My understanding, the dude that did this to George Floyd, I can't remember his name, had tons of priors. 18. You think maybe the police department should have done something about that? I'm thinking so. Just saying. Okay, so he's a bad cop. And I feel sorry for him because here's why. I bet she's sitting in jail going, what the hell did I do? I just screwed my whole entire life up. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's done. Done! And now we've lost a person that meant a lot to a lot of people a human being and it's sad and now we're abusing each other and hurting each other and and we're out to get cops and we're out to get the blacks and we're out to get this and it's terrible stop everybody stop 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 i get a high horse about this stuff i just oh back to my city and the the rioting these people that did the initial damage were stupid. They literally had their faces. So, what do you think people have? They have cell phones and cameras. So, every time there was somebody, do you know this person? I shared it every single time, repeatedly. And the one girl, the redhead that's from my city, that did a lot of damage, her grandmother turned her in. Go, Grandma! I'd have done the same thing, too. I'm sorry. You can't do that. So please, I'm begging you guys, 
we got to show some kindness and some love. We've been through a pandemic. We're losing people because of this. How in the world we got to the point where we're just gone crazy? I don't know. But grab your loved ones and your friends. Call up a friend. That's what I've been trying to do. And just say, hey, I love you. Because we need to get back to being kind and loving and supporting. So, that is my hot horse for today. I love you guys to pieces. I really do. I love our country. I love our city. I just want it to be back to normal again. I just don't know if it ever will be. But I'm going to pray really hard. And I'm going to keep praying. That the hate and the prejudice that goes on in our country just needs to stop. We need to love. We really do. So, with that being said, you guys, I told you I have a little bit of a haul um, from a couple places. I want to share that with you guys, and I got some friend mail. So, let's get started. Please hit that bell up in the corner. It'll let you know when I have no, uh, it'll notify you when I upload another video. Thumbs up, please, please, please. Okay. I will start off with this first. I went to uh, Michael's and um, thinking they were going to have all kinds of stuff on sale. No. And I was real disappointed because while we were, Michael's was closed, I tried to order some stuff online. That's a pain. And I said, nope. They, they wanted you to call up the store to see if they have any available. I'm not doing that. No. So I went into when they opened up this last week and I was real disappointed because there wasn't anything really great on sale. I was kind of thought they would have a ton. No. So the only thing I found was this Me and My Big Ideas, the Happy Planner washi tape. Um, there's seven in here. Um, and I got this. And I thought this was really cool. It's got the ladies, the shoes, the little uh, crosses, the gold, the blue, all of it. For $1.80. I was really thrilled about getting that. So... All right, so let's get into this bag first. This is from the Hobby Lobby. Now, this right here came from the at-home store. I don't know if you guys have one of those. These were $1.50. I couldn't pass them up. The only thing in the store that I liked, the rest of it was just too overpriced. Aren't those darling? So I got that for buck fifty. so I got two. Really like that. Look how cute that is. That's darling. And I look how much I paid for that. $3.74. I was real thrilled with that. So, there you go. Alright. Then I got myself um, a hat for $3.74. And it's a fashion hat. It says, bless your heart. It's kind of... Because you guys know I wear hats, especially in the summertime. And well, I wear them all the time for work. So, <coughs> that's what I got. Um, then in their, uh, um, stationery section, they had these for, uh, four of them for 49 cents. I thought, how cute are those? Those are going to make some good, cute little packaging, um, you know, so there you go. I'm going to have that out here in a minute. And then they had, um, this is going in my, uh, package I'm sending out to my friend. And this is an Iron Art, uh, butterfly. And I got that for 37 cents. And then they have these, uh, 16 count mini brag, brags, bags, um, for 74 cents. I thought those were cute. And then they had, uh, for 99 cents, these Bright Ideas um, labels. And I just, I'm always looking for a label because I can use these for pocket letters. And then, I was so excited to get these. And it's the Tim Holtz 5-inch uh, mini snips. Um, these will take fingers off so you do not have these laying around for your kids. I got these at 40% off. I was thrilled to get those. Um... The, I have the maroon pair like this in the next size. So I was very glad to get those. 
And then last but not least, as far as this part of it goes, I got this little um, thing for 30 cents. Um, it's a little cake, cupcake thing, and I just thought that was cool as a cucumber. Alright, so there's that. I'm just putting this down here really quick. Alright. And then I told you I went to Dalton. I didn't get a lot there. But I did get these. And hold on before I show you that. Because they also had these ones. Like the box had ripped. So they just put them in singular. So um, I got these. Um, these were $2.50. And it's the Instamax... Instatax Stacks Minis Project Life. They were $4.99. You get 12 in there, but I got them for half off. And I use these for pocket letters, things like that. And so this is what they look like because I bought these individually. My life. Today. A bicycle. And then the stash. So there's that. Okay, so. I'm always looking for coffee stuff. It's very hard to find. Um, so this one was uh, coffee stickers. And I think you only get one sheet in here, if I'm right. Yeah, I think so. So there's that. And then I got... Um, where's my other thing in here? Oh, this is for 4th of July. And that was pretty cool. And then I'm not going to go through all this just because I don't need to. So they had a bunch of their paper. Um, they just put together into little packages like this. And um, they put, I think, 20 sheets in there. So this was $2. And you get 20 sheets. And then there's like Christmas in there and all that. So and I was pretty thrilled with that. So that was cool. All right, let me put this back in the bag, and then we can move on. All right, we're just about done here. All right. Bear with me. Okay, so. I got a little package in the mail the other day, and I wasn't sure where it came from. <clears throat> And um, it was in this really cool packaging. And I thought, that's really cool. And I'm not going to show addresses. Um, how they did that. So I think they took a... Yeah, they took a um, scrap of paper. And they folded it up into an envelope. I thought, that's genius. So this came from... My dear friend, Paula Rice, um, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Um, she sent me a bookmark, and then she sent me... Well, I'm going to show you the bookmark. And this says, Good, be good. Lisa, aw, be good. She did, That's so cute. This is the bookmark. Very, very cute. I thought that was just very lovely. Thank you. So... This is what she sent me. I was very excited because not only did she, I needed another one because you have to wash these every day and I'm required to wear these every day and for the next year. She sent me an owl face mask. There you go. Cute, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you so much, Paula. I really appreciate it. You did not have to do that, but I definitely, definitely appreciate it. So thank you so much. Um, uh, I think that's all she said. Yeah, there you go. All right. Thanks so much. So then I got another package in the mail. First of all, it took a lot of stamps. That was hilarious. And they're all um, from the uh, Sesame Street. Look at all the stamps. Hilarious. So, I see D. Pipkin. Like, I know that name. I know that name. I know that name. I know that name. So, I opened up a package, and she sent this lovely little note. 
know why angels have wings so they can lift warm thoughts of you to heaven and turn them into a shower of blessings to just keep them pouring on you hope you're having a good day your friend in texas deanna or dina um and she puts a little owl in here and she goes uh trying to lift up my spirits and um we talked about a couple other things and she's praying for me this is the gal that sent me and i can't reach it right now because it's over there and i can't get to it my um uh brass snail you guys remember that i'm gonna get to have mike help me bring those back down here so i can reach them because i can't get to them maybe if i clean the craft room i'd be able to right anyways so she was super super sweet and sent me a blouse that i absolutely love because i think she knows that i wear these kind so <clears throat> See, we got this going the right way. Here we go. All right, so it looks like this. It's got the arms right here. It's the cold shoulder one. And isn't it pretty? I just love this. I can wear this to work. I'm super thrilled. Thank you so much, my beautiful friend. I really, 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 really appreciate it. So I do have lots more friend mail um, that I have to get to. I want you guys to know that I love you and I appreciate everything cards letters gifts phone calls emails you name it i appreciate it all so that's the end of this segment of the haul you all anyways so have a super good week i hope that you guys get um some good weather and i hope that everything you need to get done gets done this week Pray for me, because i got some things going on that um, at work, that uh, some hard stuff, so I need some prayers. Um, so like, comment, share, subscribe down below. Hit that bell if you want to be notified of any upcoming videos. Remember snail mail, because everybody likes getting something good in the mail besides a damn bill. I know I do. Do something good for yourself so that you can do something good for somebody else. And above all else, be good. I love you guys. Talk to you later.